aspirant attains the very God that they form in their mind. If they think God is light, God appears as light. If they think God is sound, God appears as sound. If they think God has a human form, God appears in a human form. Actually, all these appearances of God are the illusions of the mind. Because God is beyond name and form. God is everything and nothing. But the illusion is true to the person who sees it and it brings a conviction of truth in them. God is not somewhere else. You are God. You are God and you are in God. It's simply a matter of acceptance. Accept yourself. Accept others. And accept the world. You will see everything is full of love. And love is God. What is love? Is it real? Lover is a form and love is beyond that form. Lover is body and love is soul. Love is reality. That which is experienced by lovers is not love because it is mixed with attachment. to develop real love, that which is above the physical plane. To make the heart bloom, we have to stop hating others as well as ourselves. Hate is like a frost which freezes the lake and burns the stem of the lotus flower. Love is free from all bondage. It cannot be created by our minds. nor can it be made by our bodies. It exists in its own purity and shines by itself.
A lotus blooming in a lake attracts the eyes of everyone, although it doesn't try to attract. When the lotus of love blooms in the lake of the heart, everyone can see it, feel it, and then they come like bees to take its nectar. When real love is understood, the heart will open like a lotus when the sun rises. Let love develop inside your heart. The purer the heart becomes, the more love will come out. And one day, you and love will become one. The reality of the self is like an ocean. Its real nature is very peaceful. The waves in the ocean are the universe, which is our own mind. The nature of the waves is to go up and down. The waves are not other than the ocean. Still we separate them by giving them a separate name and form. It's not unnatural for the mind to get stirred up by some external forces. But one who is aware of their own self, I am not the body and mind. I am pure self. And knows that the universe is one with themselves, will not be disturbed even though the waves are there. Self is God. But as long as we don't find God within ourselves, there is a difference between God's will and our will. We need complete surrender to find God within ourselves. Complete surrender doesn't mean not to work, not to eat, not to meet people, but rather the ego of I am the doer should be eliminated from the mind. What happens then? The mind begins to accept all situations 
and becomes free from pleasure and pain. It develops dispassion. And dispassion brings enlightenment. In words, the method seems very easy. But it's a very difficult thing to surrender. It needs constant practice and watching our every action. Without watching ourselves, we can't be aware of the tricks the mind plays. So a yogi should be alert all the time. The world is created by our own mind. By our own mind, it is expanding. By our own mind, its reality exists. Everyone's world is their own mind. Just as one can't dream anyone else's dream, so one can't see the world of others. But we all exist in the worlds of each other. Anything which is accepted by the mind comes into its existence. And when it is rejected by the mind, Its existence disappears. The world is just like a dream that is created by the mind. And is experienced as real until the person awakens. Then it disappears. The seer and the object seen make an illusionary relationship. If the seer loses their identity, the ego of being a seer, then the illusion doesn't exist in the object seen. There remains a reality, unchangeable, indestructible, immortal, which is God. God is another name of truth.
in search of truth, a person searches the root of their existence. What is the root of existence? The root is ego, or we can say existence in the world is ego. As long as we have the ego of being a doer, we can't be free. Diving for pearls is easy, but when you have pearls you develop fear of losing them. There is no peace. So diving for God is better, although harder. Peace or freedom can be attained by surrendering to God. Do your spiritual practice regularly and offer it to God. Don't do it to attain powers or knowledge. Do it as a humble servant of God without expecting a reward from the Master. Do it as a woman who gathers flowers from the garden to make a garland for her beloved and puts it around their neck Their beloved's happiness is their happiness.